Yo, so we got the latest robbery in YouTube right now between uh, Moist the Boyce Watkins and Corey Hoka. And um, Corey responded to Boyce. Uh, Boyce tried, jumped this. Like I say, Boyce has a history of getting into it with people from a whole different other side of the, of the fence than he is. Uh, Kwame, different audience. Black people, nonetheless, but different audience. Uh, he stuck his nose in Kwame business. Kwame made like 12 videos. You know how he do. Well, he did the same thing. When Willie D posted this clip of Corey talking about his baby mother, people was in the comments talking. And Boyce, who a lot of people identify as a simp, you know, he's a Homer Simpson. He's in the in the uh, comment section. I met Corey in person. Didn't like him. Like, <laughs> like, was it necessary to say that? And I don't think it was. And Corey... Naturally, on 5150, he, rep he replied, and this was his response. Met him, never liked him, mm -hmm. something like that. Wow. Now, he's supposed to be a professional. Mm -hmm. So last week, I was hitting him back. Then he took a couple of shots at me. But I just want to say, um, Mr. Watkins, you, you, need to, you need to understand the position you're in. Hey, do we, can we, do we really have a video put up? Okay. Show me this video. Do y'all see this shit? You ain't even gotta say shit first. Can the can the people see that? Do you see her hesitation? First of all, this is a lady he known for a long time. I said lady. I do not know this lady. I have nothing against her. I just only understand her hesitation. It's obvious in the video. Look how she looking. Look how she looking. He known this lady 20 plus years, and she had a, a child elsewhere before she agreed to marry him because can y'all stop the video for a second just stop it i just want to i just want to say something something that i i, I want the, the crew to, to 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 especially darlene i want to see what she got to say about this i want to let all you guys five eight and under know this <laughs> women prefer to have children with bigger guys guys with height so, Mr. Watkins, I want you to know, she didn't have a baby with you. You got her when her she was finished and when you was finished. But you you a meal ticket for her. That's why I believe that this woman decided to say, fuck it, I'll do it. Because her body language is not that of a happy woman. So, I'm just letting you know, Mr. Watkins, you can say whatever you want to say about me, but you look like the ass clown right there. That's what you look like in that video. Look at your face. Look at her face. That is not the face of a woman who feel like, oh, he finally did it. That's the woman's face that's saying, damn, I ain't got no more options. <laughs> About what manhood actually looks like. Uh, and in fact, that's why I, one of the reasons I wore this shirt today uh, is because uh, I want to just remind us that entertainers are not our leaders. Right. So a lot of times we think that because somebody got uh, money from white people or they got a record deal or they tell funny jokes or they are in a movie, that that person is automatically a black leader and they're not really a black leader. They're actually a um uh, that maybe to some extent might be called a mascot or something like that. You know, again, not that every entertainer is stupid, but this is this is what it is, right? So Charmaine says, uh, I was hoping you would not respond to him. Let me just say this. If you don't want to hear the response, uh, it's okay to go away and say, you know what, I'll come back later. Uh, but I think the response is, I, I, I encourage you to stick around, though, just because uh, you, just because you respond doesn't mean it has to be a fight, right? Just because uh, you respond to niggotry, doesn't mean you have to be a nigga, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Give me a yes if you follow what I'm saying. Uh, and so, uh, you know, Corey, uh, I know I know guys like Corey. You know, I grew up around guys like Corey. I have uncles and cousins, you know, that kind of fit that category. And I debated with them, and I, and I would debate with him too. I would talk to him on the phone if he wanted to call me. And uh, and I think also it's really important uh, to talk about this because – because I kind of want to, I kind of want to, I, I saw the video, I told my wife and my wife did the same thing. If you're telling me not to talk about it, then, then you're, you, you're in agreement with my wife. My wife was like, she just rolled over like whatever boys, you know, like, you know, cause, cause, you know, cause there's like weird stuff. People say like, well, she didn't really want to marry him. She really, if you look at her body language, she didn't want to marry him. And she's like, boys, I put on the ring as soon as, 
as soon as you proposed, what would make people think I didn't want to marry you? And, and we've been married, by the way, we're doing good. We've been married for years and all that, I guess over two years now. And um, number one, he says, uh, you were a meal ticket for her. And, um, and, and again, that fits when sometimes when people talk about that, what they see in your relationship, that's really a reflection of what they see in their own relationships. Um, I think that Corey, because he's in, in the entertainment space, he probably runs into a lot of low vibration, gold digging, you know, nasty ass women. He does. He probably does. Right. Because I've been in L.A. where Corey lives. And um, and I remember the time I was in L.A. and I met him. And when I was in L.A., I had desperate, uh, beautiful, beautiful women, but very desperate actresses that wanted to get next to me because I had money and status. And, and they saw people clapping when I walked in the room. So they thought that, OK, I want to get next to this guy. Um, I was really shocked by that, you know, and I remember thinking, you are a beautiful girl, like, you know, where's your father? Like your father, you shouldn't be in the LA starving. Your father should be helping you out, sending you money, putting you in a position of strength. But most of them didn't have daddies. And a lot of them were desperate to be successful, famous, whatever. So when they see a guy, you know, and again, Corey has status. He's a good comedian. You know, he's, he's people know him. And I like, I like, I like, I, I watch Corey. I, I laugh. I really, my wife doesn't think he's that funny, but I do. I think, I think he's funny. Um, so these are the types of women that Corey deals with. Now, let me explain my world and the types of women that I saw when I was single. Um, I didn't see low vibration gold diggers, you know, when, uh, why? Well, because I, I don't market myself to low vibrational gold diggers. Now, as you can see, uh, that was the, the combination of Boyce's response and Corey defending himself. Now I will say, uh, <laughs> Corey's take, uh, on this, this relationship that Boyce, Boyce, Clay, Boyce acts like him and his wife have been together for years, two years. Um, it, yeah, it did look like she was hesitant to to say I do, but I mean, my, the biggest issues I have with boys is different than than that. That ain't nothing. That's just some simp love stuff. Like you know what I mean? Like you sitting here, you know, this woman was off. She put you on the back burner for twenty years. Spent the block, came back. Now it's all good. Now that you got money, she she's back. And it's clear. It's funny because he said earlier, which I thought was total bull, talking about some uh, when I first came to L.A. Uh, all the gold diggers and the women, the women like that was after me too. I'm like, come on, boys. Like, <laughs> really? You know, but you, when you was broke on the come up, that same woman you with wasn't messing with you. She spent the block 20 years later once you got bread. And speaking of bread, this is my thing. Boyce has been selling intelligent black financial whatever he sells for the last 10 years. I have yet to see any testimonies of any people that Boyce Watkins has actually made successful. Has anybody actually made money following Boyce? Because he's he tried to use Corey and paint him as this like evil cult leader of black culture, like trying to make it seem like Corey is responsible for why black culture is so toxic right now. You know what I mean? Like he he threw Corey and mentioned him in there with the BET award stuff and all of that. I'm like, yo. Corey's got his problems, but to sit here, first of all, he's not a leader. He kept referring to Corey as a leader. I'm like, he's not a leader. He's a comedian. He's got a cult audience. He's got, those are fans. 5150 people are fans. You know what I mean? That's it. But no one's looking at Corey for leadership. Like, come on, man. So he tried to take this and spin it and tried to make it a, a black people thing. And then as far as the whole taking care of a woman's kids, the woman and have been, you know, she got three kids by one man. You're basically raising his family. He made it seem as if, well, it's an honor to raise black children and uh, black men need to do better. And y'all keep looking at me like I'm a simple. Well, somebody got to raise these babies. And y'all, uh, he was just going <laughs> in a whole nother direction. It's like, bro, you taking it to a whole. No one was not saying any of that. It's just, hey, she spent the block. That's all. <laughs> That's all. And by the time she, you proposed to her, yeah, there was a whole family that was arranged. You know, kids have been coming out, kindergarten, graduations, the birthday parties have came on. Now you in the mix. You know what I mean? But yeah, Boyce is just, uh, Boyce sticks his nose in other people's business all the time and then he gets dealt with. And I don't feel sorry for him. He's got into it with just about every person you would consider a black leader, ironically. Umar Johnson, uh, Tariq Hill. He's got into it with other people on YouTube over the years, like he, Yvette Garner, all of them. You know what I mean? So Boyce is messy. You know, he's always getting into some shit, but he likes to play victim. And that's, the, to me, the most annoying kind of person, the person that always play victim, but you always in some shit, though. 
but you want to, oh, no, not all, all that shit. You, 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 man, stop. You know what I mean? Like you, <laughs> you chill out with the hand gestures. You know what I mean? All the hand gesture movements. Just be you. Stop being passive aggressive. Don't take shots at people, and then when they call you out and clown you, now you want to, oh, well, and he kept apologizing to his fans. Well, I, I'm sorry y'all got to hear this, but I, I just got to put out stuff like this because I, I, I like this kind of stuff. Well, I'm like, yeah, we know you do. But don't sit here and try to call out the ratchet people in black culture when you low-key kind of ratchet yourself, man. Because <laughs> you boys is always in some shit with somebody on YouTube. This ain't nothing new. You could look up all the stuff he done went through and all the people. I remember a couple of years ago, he was hustling Asian uh, with some Asian guy on here. You know, and he got called out for that. But yeah, Corey is going to continue to clown him um, in the next couple couple weeks. It should be entertaining if you into that kind of stuff, the, the insult comedy. Let's say 5150 is different. You know, and I think you could catch Boyce lying because he says in the video he's a Corey fan. His wife isn't, but he is. And I'm like, well, if you're a Corey Holcomb fan, then you'll know his character and how he's his delivery of his message it's like that drunk uncle you know what i mean it's like it's it's a, it's insult comedy it's, it's it's hood shit so you already know what kind of what time what kind of time he on when you see Corey. if you're not in the mood for that or you don't like that type of stuff then don't watch this is it but don't sit here and act like oh and that's how you know you could tell he ain't never watched Corey before because if you know how Corey is you didn't pay that comment no attention him and the baby mama jokes or whatever. That's just like, I didn't even think that was a big deal. The only people who was mad about that were people who never seen or heard of Corey. Or either people who just take everything he says literal. They just don't understand the sarcasm or the the the, uh, the humor in that. But it is what it is. But let me know what y'all think about Boyce Watkins, Moist Boyce Watkins, <laughs> and, uh, and Corey Holcomb in the comments. I'm out. Can you return?